I think it's very intriguing because there's been a large gap, in my opinion, in technology. We've seen a proliferation of technologies in robotics, on the, um, but we have not seen, in my opinion, very significant translation to consumer products. I think Emotics has very accurately identified a strong consumer need and identified realizable technologies to meeting that need. Oh my god, that's, that's a really broad question. There's so many exciting things that could be done with this system. Uh, one that really intrigues me as both a robotics researcher and as a professor and an educator is to actually have Miko as a real teaching tool to interact with children. Um, outside of my university, I actually do go to elementary school and talk to kids ages 7 to 17 about robots. And they're all so excited, they want to learn, and they want to learn more about it. And so I think there's such an opportunity to engage children and actually introduce um, supplements for their actual teaching material. You could have interactive reading exercises, interactive math exercises, you could have searches on the web. It's, the possibilities are a little bit staggering. Well, broadly speaking, I'm not sure about it, but specifically maybe I'd ask with regard to Emotics, it's a very great to company to company. But where I see Emotics actually is, Emotics is clearly obviously an Indian company, it's based on innovation, it started here, but they firstly incorporated advances and some breakthroughs that have come all over the world in terms of emotional robotic interaction, my own research there in terms of vision systems, in terms of navigation, and it's amalgamating all of those, number one. But number two, the more important issue I see is they're attacking a problem that really cuts across globally so many different cultures, so many different, every one has, every parent wants their child to be able to interact, learn more, have engage more. Every child wants to at some level like this. So I think as an Indian company, what's kind of exciting is they're tackling a problem that goes that could that crosses every crosses so many borders.